Hey guys, today is March 12, 2018, and this is your daily vlog number 455? Yeah, 55, wow. Uh, so, alright, I am still bleeding, so let me go ahead and show you guys profit trailer, okay? And go ahead and look at the stop losses. Now, if you look, I have a lot of good sales too, but, I mean, I, what I don't get is, a stop loss has so much more negative than a positive amount. It's, it ticks me off. Um, I mean, I got 8 cents here, but, you know... 0.4% 4, 4 gain as well as here's another one uh, 0.77 I got 50 cents here but yeah I mean this, this really sucks uh, the stop losses really hurt you I mean I don't yeah this one is about a dollar 61 cents yeah okay uh, anyways and the numbers keep changing on me too right so let's take a look at all but overall I have a lot more green than red so my bleeding has stopped just a little bit but I still need to fine tune my settings and then I also need to learn how to get more greedy as well on my earnings so when I buy some of these coins maybe there's a possibility that I could increase my earning percentage okay but I still need to go ahead and chart that out and I'll do that in a future video so Let's go ahead and show you guys the four stop losses that I have occurred just more recently. XRB, EOS, uh, XL, XMR, as well as Walton and Substratum, all right? So actually, I didn't chart Substratum, but I have a few of them on the top, and I'll just go over it with you. Um, when I took a look at the notepad and I looked at all my buys and things of that nature, let's actually take a look at Walton coin first. Walton coin, I missed the, uh, missed the sell. Okay, it was about what 0.4% gain it looks like right at this candle. So I bought here, and at that same candle, I could I could have went out of it. I just missed the sell because of my trailing. Okay, the next coin I have X XMR BTC, just a totally bad buy. It was all bad. So any time on this coin is actually the only time is pretty good it's here, right? But uh, it's so hard to predict this slump and. I hate when the Bollinger Band is tight like this, and it seems like you can never get out when the Bollinger Band is so tight. Uh, I'm curious if I can find settings. I know, I think Feeder actually might have some settings, uh, their newest settings, where uh, there's a high and low volatility, um, and you could trade based upon volatility of the coin itself. Um, so, just looking at it, there. I mean, I could have DCA'd hard, like let's say, I got the coin, I DCA pretty damn hard all the way down to this level here. Uh, if I DCA at 1%, negative 1, negative 1, negative 1, negative 1, negative 1, four times, I could see myself sort of getting out of that coin. But it would have been still rough to do. Um, so just getting out of that coin, like I said earlier to you guys, the, the biggest setting I want is get out of the pair after one hour. Get out of the pair after an hour and a half. I don't want to hold on to the coin after an hour and a half. Uh, if I miss the sale within the first hour and a half, I think it's a lost cost. So take a look at a few other ones. Uh, this is another coin I bought, and I could have got out of this coin, but again, trailing. And it, it's just barely any. These are just wicks, man. So again, possible I could maybe get out of that coin, maybe not. Who knows? Uh, there's another one here. Ripple, I bought it, and barely making out of that wick. Right, I, this one is just really strange. I bought it here somehow. Okay, it's not even close to the low BB. It's not even. I didn't even buy it at this price target down below. I bought it at that price target. I'm not 100% sure why, but I'm just gonna leave it alone. Uh, bots make mistakes sometimes. It's not perfect. I mean, maybe it was. Maybe because of the five minute Bollinger Band. Who knows what the deal was? But mo most of the times it's been accurate, and I, I could technically have gotten out at this candlestick here but I didn't okay take a look at a few others that just recently happened uh, these are my bags right now I'm holding and this just happened so roughly about three hours ago give or take my bot bought a coin around this period here and guess what ended up happening well I have Bitfinex up on the opposite side and Bitfinex you could take a look this meteoric rise you see this okay so BTC gets a huge upswing and alts take a hit pretty hard. So this is what I need to end up doing now. So with that being said, and I have removed that setting, hoping that I could get out of that out of a coin. But this is what I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I did. So let me go ahead and take a look at my pairs file, or excuse me, my, my oh 
just real quick as well. I updated uh, updated PT Magic and I also updated Profit Trailer today. There was a lot of bug fixes, so go ahead and check it out. Uh, some new feature requests have uh, came in. I'll, I'll go ahead and showcase all that to you right now. So let me go ahead and open up my analyzer file for you guys. Settings.analyzer and this is what it is. So I have re-added the Bitcoin one hour and this is how you do it. Okay, Exclude main Paris equals false and go ahead and add it. Um, I don't use relative, so I have these max markets at one. It's just how it is for right now. And I've added this setting here, BTC pump one hour. If it's up by 1.5%, sell only mode. That's it. Super simple. Don't need to go into any more details. Before I had it at the three hour, the six hour, the 12 hour. Um, if the one hour of the Bitcoin is pumping for 1.5, yeah, let's go ahead and um, put that trigger in there because 1.5 is a pretty big gain in Bitcoin and if it continues and continues yeah 1.5 is pretty good for me um, the new setting that PT magic added blacklisted new coins and the basically age days lower than 14 and this actually works perfectly it's so if it's actually I want to change this to 30 actually I might already have it as 30 so let me go ahead and look at my actual file real fast and see if I have it at 30. So let me go ahead and show you guys this here. And settings.analyzer file. Yeah, I set it to 30. So all my server is actually set to 30. And I can showcase that setting to you guys as well. So this is a new setting I added as well as the the Bitcoin one hour. I really wanted to avoid the Bitcoin one hour, but if you look at these two charts, both quantum as well as waves. Actually, waves I might get out. Huh, that's cool. Waves I might get out. But both of these were triggered. If I only bought it down at this stage here. I don't think I bought it that low. I mean, this is like super far down, right, on the Bollinger Band. And the Bollinger Band has like constricted a lot. It was like down here before. But yeah. Well, we just have to wait and see. So Bitcoin just had a soar my coins I just bought a few coins I actually bought a lot of coins and I'm holding on to them right now actually I guess some of them are making it out let me just double check yeah I think ADA already made it out at 0.47 that's pretty cool uh, maybe I didn't need the setting maybe I'm just I don't know maybe I didn't need because it didn't hit a stop loss so maybe the Bitcoin one hour is not technically needed because it never hit the stop loss to send right but I might go ahead and remove it on my next iteration. Let me go ahead and showcase this setting here for you, however. This is a cool setting here. Um, so the blacklist, new coins, straight out of the box of PT Magic. Isn't that neat? And then let me go ahead and show you guys um, a Binance post. So Storm just got released on Binance. So let me go ahead and look it up for you guys on another Binance. So let's see here. One day ago, it just got released. Storm, right? Okay. Storm is now available on Binance for trading. So let's take a look at my configuration under pairs. Okay. And I'll show you guys that right now. Um, pairs. And let's look for storm. Storm. Bam. Look at that. It has two settings associated with it. Oh, God. Storm is at negative 2.5. Don't buy. It's on sale only mode. Or trailing is at negative 20, right? But also I have here. Storm currently active settings. Blacklisted new coin. And it will tell you. Storm is only one day old. All right. That's the reason why. And if we, if we take a look. Like Zillica is only eight days old. Um, let's take a look at a few others. There's a whole bunch of them. Uh, Poa is 13 days old. Okay. So I like the setting ONT is five days old and you know this is a pretty nice setting out of the box and cash is 15 days old etc 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 and it's really nice feature out of the box also PT Magic has updated their um, market analyzer so we could take a look at that too um, if we take a look at the market analyzer there's this new absolute trend and relative relative trend and I am curious the five minutes still doesn't look accurate okay nor does the 15 minute so if you look here the 15 minute and the one hour is exactly the same so I don't think I could calculate those values just yet but 
the absolute of the one hour seems to be spot on. So that's something that I really do like and the new changes here. But uh, my ticket's still open. Hopefully they could address the five and the 15 minute um, relative change, or excuse me, the absolute change on the coin. And we could get that all fixed up. So what, ah, what did I change on profit trailer? I mean, duh, that's like the biggest component here, right? What did I change? No more trailing profit. Took it out. There were some comments on my last video. Just went ahead and took it out. Let's see how it goes. I reduced my DCAs even tighter. Negative 0.17, negative 0.17. However, what throws me off is this is at negative 1.2. I have a DCA. What the freak is going on? So I must have made a setting. I uh, must have done something incorrectly. Uh, but let me. Yeah, negative. Maybe I need a zero here. I don't know. But anyways, I'll go ahead and figure that out and get my DCAs all up and running. Thank you for watching the video. Um, please subscribe, thumbs up, and leave a comment below. And hopefully, after some of these iterations, I can start making some profit on a bear market. Okay. And then next video I'm going to do is I'm going to try to see if I can make more profit on some of my pairs that I have already made profit on. Okay. All right. Thanks, guys.